بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, on behalf of uh, ML Web uh, formative assessment track one uh, uh, group nine uh, today we are going to learn about uh, how to use team-based learning as a tool of formative assessment team-based learning we are expecting to uh, define team-based learning mention briefly the history of TBL evolution, describe the four essential principles of TBL, discuss the essential components involved in the TBL process, identify the benefits of TBL, and lastly, explain the challenges and action plan for with implementing, uh, implementing TBL strategy. Let's start. What about definition? TBL is a special form of active collaborative small group learning that provides students with opportunities to apply conceptual knowledge through a sequence of activities that includes individual work, teamwork, and immediate feedback to create a, 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 a motivational process in which holds everyone accountable for their own individual work and individual cont contributions to their team. History of TBL evolutions. This TBL developed in the business school environment in early 1990 USA by Dr. Larry Michelson, who wants the benefits of a small group learning within large classes. There are four essential elements of TBL groups. Consists of five to seven members in groups. These groups must be probably formed and managed. Accountability. The students must be accountable for their individual and group work. Assignments design. The team assignments must promote both learning and team development. Immediate feedback. The students must receive frequent and immediate feedback. What about team formation and TBL? which may stay for a long time, maybe for a year for, or a semester. There are four principles for assigning students to teams. First, never let them self-select it. We have to determine the world's factors in the class and distribute all of these factors across the different teams. We have to ensure that each team has as much diversity as possible and uh, be sure that the assignment uh, make a process transparent. There are four phases involved in TBL process. First, student preparation. Second, readiness assurance process. Third, team application. Fourth, which is optional, peer evaluation. Team-based learning consequences. First phase, it is a student preparation or called advanced assignment. It is conducted pre class individually. That the student has to be mastered before each TPL session. And the student has to prepare outside the class by following a specific set of guidelines for reading, viewing videos, labs, and etc. This preparation guided by clear instructions, learning objectives from the instructors. Phase two, readiness assurance process, conducting inside the class. It is called, it composed, composed of three parts. First part, individual readiness assurance test, which is called IRAC. Each individual student complete a set of multiple questions for about 10 to 20 uh, MCQ questions that focus on the concepts they need to master in order to be able to solve the team application problems. This is IRAT. The second part is the team or group readiness assurance test, what's called the TRAT. This is the same set of questions that each student has answered individually, but now answered as a team on immediate feedback assessment technique or scratch of cart. This is a scratch example of a scratch of. 
The third part is called the appeal, appeal process and an instructor clarification review. After going after group test, teens encouraged to appeal questions that they got wrong. We have to encourage the student to review the material, to evaluate their understanding and to defend their choices. After readiness assurance test process, students are given clarification from the instructors on the concept that they have been struggled with during the TRAT. Phase three, team application. It is conducted inside the class. Actually, it is the backbone of TPL. The student in teams are presented with a case scenario or vignette that is similar to the type of problem they have will be, uh, will be grappling with in their career. They are challenged to make interpretation, analysis, senses, and make a specific choices from a range of options, then both this uh, choice when uh, other teams boast there. It is decision making after debate. So careful choice of problem can help reveal common student misconceptions. There are four S principles, four S principles for effective construction of T application, team application. First, this case scenario should be significant or authentic or realistic to the students. It should be the same for all students and designed to make a specific choice and reported simultaneously by the teams. Phase four, it is peer evaluation and the feedback it is conducting out of class individually. Each student must evaluate uh, uh, each of teammates on their contribution to the team's success, success and their own learning. It is better to be both qualitative and the quantitative component and the student has to practice with forming a, a, a constructive feedback to one another. It should be done anonymously. This peer assessment and feedback help members to enhance both each other's ability to work together effectively, this is called process related feedback, and to contribute ideas and information, it is called content related feedback. This is evaluation forum for TPL in medical school in Saudi Arabia. And the other is the weight distribution of marks in TPL. What about the role of instructors and the learners in TPL? Instructors in TPL act as facilitator. They have to establish a clear, specific, and meaning, meaningful learning objectives for TPL and create problem case or scenario that is authentic and believable and guide the team toward the solutions. Learners who, which encounter inconsistent, inconsistencies in uh, preconception and new experience, they have to prepare well out of the class, the TBL session, and apply the knowledge in the class and work as a team. What about the benefits of TPL learning? It improves the student performance, educational achievement, and increases student satisfaction, building teamwork and the group skills. It is convenient for large groups of students without need of large number of instructors. It also enhances the level of engagement between the students and the course materials, equally affects the low achiever and the best students of the year. It provides multiple opportunities for self-assessment and the constructive feedback that fosters the students' cognitive levels. What about the challenge of TPL? Actually, the first channel resistance from some faculty member for adopting TPL model. Diversity of the team members, including different academic achievement, different abilities, different culture background, if objectives not constructed optimally, it will lead to root uh, memorization. Actually, it increases the faculty workload. If compared to delivering the same materials via traditional lectures. Using non-digital methods during the step of application T app may unfortunately hinders groups decision making 
if teams observe each other. Time consume sure for conducting TBL uh, either uh, uh, IRAT or TRAT. Classroom time management is a challenge. Assessing TBL faculty member and instructors may be a challenge. And the different difficult task for the student challenge is a peer assessment or peer feedback. What about the action plan of TBL? We have to set up a working subgroup for TBL session. Equipment needed for TBL should be available. Faculty training during faculty development program. Writing specific learning objectives for TBL session. Well preparation for readiness assurance process and team application exercise. Students orientation. Assessment of students, the process itself, courses and instructors. Finally, monitoring and evaluation. What about the conclusion of TBL? TBL is an excellent educational strategy that is fit with medical education. It is an active learning, learner-centered, holds students accountable for their preparation for class and the in-class enga engagement, and requires them to apply knowledge to solve authentic problems. It is a versatile strategy, well suited for large classes and small classes, and only needs one instructors. This is my reference. Thank you, my fellows, for your attention. Good luck. Salam alaikum.